We're at Art Crafters today talking with artist Catherine Cashman. Catherine, you make beautiful handmade cards. Can you tell us about that process? Well, the process has changed over the years. I have gone from inspirations, but now I find it more interesting to be able to like take a stack of scraps or whatever I have and then create from what I have there. Partially because it makes it so I have to think differently. So I have to come up, maybe use colors that I wouldn't have thought before or put things together that way. All the cards are unique. I personally prefer something being unique. I don't want to give five of the same thing. So all my cards are different, which is on purpose. So, and they just are sort of created out of what what's available, which is really neat. I might use a necklace, part of a necklace, or sometimes I use, um, you know, unusual things. Like I've, I've used canvas that's been painted on, pieces of, of old um, uh, paintings and things like that, whatever, whatever sort of strikes the fancy I put in them. All right. You also make some neat items out of bottle corks. Tell us about that. Yeah, as you can see, there are some here. I um, This is a recent uh, thing that I started doing. I got the inspiration years ago when I went to a craft fair myself and purchased some things made out of cork, and I was like, that can't be that hard to do, so I started doing it. And one of my favorites are the little um, garden stakes here. I think those are some of the most fun. But uh, it's it's just been, you know, I. I also make keychains, which um, are fairly new, and I've done my ornaments, and I also have been adding um, unusual things too, like I'll add anemone shells or different things like that to them to make them fun and interesting as well. Do you do other forms of art as well? I do. I want to learn to do more, but what started basically all this off is when growing up I never thought I was creative. But I um, got into making handmade bows. And the bows are just, I, I, of course I started with specific things like this and they have grown throughout the years. And I'll use like pieces of marabou, I'll use um, leftover pieces of ribbon, things that I find to put in them to make them unique. But um, they're all handmade, there's no wire used. And I'm actually gonna offer a, a class in bow making as it gets closer to the holidays and um, you know, all different sizes and shapes and things like that. So it's, um, I'm gonna probably take some of the classes here myself because I do wanna learn other forms of art besides you know, using other mediums other than what I am using, so. Lots of opportunities to grow. Yes. Will you be offering any other classes here at Art Crafters? Well, I have some card classes. I'm gonna be offering bow making classes. I can do the cork classes. I haven't quite thought about that yet, but I I may offer the cork classes as well. I'm not sure what else, but those would be things that I would tend to gravitate towards. I might do some scrapbooking if people are interested because I do scrap. It's unusual. Most people do either cards or scrapbooking. They don't do both. I do both. So I might offer those as well. Sounds interesting. So one final question for you, what is Art Crafters to you? Well, I'm not a full-time artist. I have a full-time job, I, um, so this is a hobby for me and this helps validate the fact that I am an artist and helps, I do it for fun, I do it to relax, I do it because I enjoy making pretty things and I like seeing other people enjoy them and so this helps me Gives, gift, get my gift out to others who might enjoy them. So that's mainly what it is. I love being around the other artists. It helps you grow and learn and um, you know you get different ideas and things like that. So that's part of it as well as collaborating with fellow artisans. All right. Well, thank you very much.